one. Ahead of the Kubota College Baseball Series at Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas, we are visiting with the Oregon State head coach, Mitch Canham. Mitch, it is great to see you. Uh, the season is, is upon us here. Let me ask you this. Uh, you know, people are really excited about the Beavs headed into 2024. Give us a high-level view of your club, if you could. You know, I, I try to remain um, pretty calm uh, with – I know we have a lot of attention with the way our offense is, is performing, and it's a very exciting group. Um, after watching them go out and train this last summer when the season ended and then come in this fall the way that they are supposed to, right, in better shape, moving faster, bigger, stronger, the whole deal. Um, but the, the togetherness that, that these guys have is none like I've seen. We went up to uh, uh, Calgary for an international trip in the fall, and those nine days we spent together with each other was was probably the most, you know, life-changing uh, week and a half of events. Put the phones down, get to know each other. And so you see the way that these guys are training right now. And that's what I'm focusing on. <clears throat> Not necessarily results on the field. Uh, we still have a few weeks until the season kicks off, but it's the progression that they're going about, the togetherness that they have, the, the way that they continue to uh, develop around our pillars here. Uh, there's, there's speed, no doubt. There's a lot of power. Uh, there's a lot of arm strength. And I think this, uh, this last offseason, we really bolstered the, the pitching staff quite a bit, too. And some of those freshmen we saw throw a lot of innings last year, uh, they've even taken big jumps in their game as well. Awesome. All right. So, you, so returners, the, the headliner is Travis Bazzani. I mean, you've got he's a national player of the year candidate, really unique player and kid, Australian. Seems, I mean, you would know, I've never met him, but seems like an awesome kid. But Describe the player to us and then describe the, the kid to us, if you could. It's hard because they're, they're like combined. Those That is an amazing human being right there. And if you haven't got to spend time with him, Runes, you got to just fly out and just hang with him because <laughs> I know he, he's so fun. Just uh, as as a as a player, it, it's electric, right? Offensively, I mean, we were looking up uh, just numbers, doing a little true media dive and you know, end zone whiff is is 9%, 9.3, I believe, from last year. He goes out in the Cape, you know, starts off a little slow, and then he's the batting champion out there. He came in as a, a, a true freshman playing for the Corvallis Knights, and he hit over 400. And every game looked the same. Bunt base hit, double off the wall. Stolen base, stolen base. Bunt base hit, double off the wall. Stolen base. Stolen. And it's like, you know, okay, so he's an offensive threat. Uh, but also like what he's trying to accomplish as a, as a leader is so impressive. I mean, he's studying psychology here so he can uh, better his mind game and also help those around him, you know? So it's not just, he's going to class just to fill time. Uh, everything he does has a big purpose behind it. Cares about his, the other guys in the clubhouse, cares about the community. I mean, I, I can go out and, and attend any event and he's going to be there. I can go to a little league game and he's Ubering over to go watch, you know, the, the, the kids play because he also knows that platform he has holds a lot of weight and kids look up to him. And so he wants to inspire. So see already, I'm talking about the baseball Travis and I can't help but talk about the type of person he is, but you know, he's uh, just the other day. Uh, he, he doesn't mind at all. If you get on him, Hey, we need to work on our backhand flips uh, on our double play feeds. You know, that's just something that one little area where we can tidy things up. He's continued to work on his range. He's continued to work on any aspect of it. I think that's the one thing that is beautiful about Travis. He wants honesty and he believes that he is going to accomplish anything you throw at him. Tell him no and watch him like turn it into a yes really quickly. And his belief in the people around him is remarkable. I, I It's like he, he if you come in and say, I believe I'm one of the top 10, you know, best guys in the country at this. Travis is going to look at that guy and say, no, you are the best in the country at it. Don't you believe it? I believe in it. And so it's just, you know, you can have such deep conversations with him. Um, and he's just, he's just very comfortable in this environment and wherever he goes. And he just wants, he wants to make the most of it. When he went home for Australia, like to Australia over break, you know, just making the most of his time with his family and and his community there as well. Um, you know, I, 
obviously we all know he has the opportunity to play for a very, very long time. Um, and I hope that we get to, after this year's over, he's going to accomplish the goal he set out here to do. And that's when it all. And then after that, you know, we get to see him train in the off season. Got to love it. Hey, so, so, even if you guys had zero newcomers, Mitch, people are going to be excited about your team and everyone you returned. But you, you, you did add some great newcomers. And two that jump off the page for me are a big power right-hander from Arizona, Aiden May, and then you know a, a shortstop from Washington State and Elijah Hainline. What are roles that you feel what, – what, what do those guys bring to your club this year? Well, uh, starting with – I mean, both guys, again, they wouldn't be here unless they had tremendous character. And their work ethic. I mean, even after our our annual diamond dinner the other day, you know, Aiden is the kind of guy he came over to me and he goes, I really appreciate you having me here and getting to be a part of this. And he didn't have to say that, you know, but it was just a gratitude. We focus a lot on gratitude here. And um, the fact that he came over to me at the end of the night when, you know, the evening was over, he need all the guys need to take off. We got practice the next morning, but he went out of the way to, to express some gratitude. Um, for having an amazing pitching coach and, and brothers in the clubhouse. Uh, you know, so people, again, off the charts. Yes, sir, this. Yes, sir, that. Just very respectful. But uh, uh, bringing Aiden in, like he, him and uh, Kamats, you know, who's been a weekend starter for us since he got here. Uh, we're best buddies in high school, you know. And so that transition, once once he was available, the, the conversations, you know, went – pretty rapidly and it was easy because we had a reference that was talking to us about what a tremendous person he was. And you can see this stuff having competed against him uh, in the season last year, watched him uh, pitched at the Pac-12 tournament. There's electricity in there and, you know, his pitch design, we've continued to work on a few different tweaks or even just controlling his tempo because it's an electric arm. Um, and so making sure, especially how he works more, you know, right to left with all of his stuff. It's a, it's horizontal movement. Um, you know, sinkers, the, the the sliders. It's moving each and every which way. And so, trying to get him to get over the plate more stuff that we can focus on with grip, stuff that we can focus on using our our edge and our track man data, um, and even just some some mental game stuff that that's going to help him go out and compete. Um, if we can continue to. Uh, <coughs> Elevate the OO and 1-1 one, one counts, attacking it uh, in the zone because the stuff moves a lot. Um, you know, it's going to lead to a lot of success. It's just what he's also brought to the other guys around him with mobility and, and velocity training and just mentality has been exciting to watch him pour into the other guys as well. Uh, the other part, too, uh, with Elijah, you know, this guy is a Northwest kid, and he – also had offers uh, this last summer to go, you know, basically anywhere he wanted. Um, but to stay here in the Northwest, and I think a lot of it was he looked around at the guys and said, I believe we can win. and We can win big with this group. I want to be challenged. I think him working up the middle. He gets to be around Bazana and, and Trotsky each and every day, right? And they also get to be around him. So iron sharpens iron, and these guys are all pushing each other. Trotsky's a phenomenal defender, right? Hayline's got an electric bat. Bazana is incredible in, in all facets of the game. And now you got Caraway over there and Guerra over there too. This is a an infield mix. And, and, and I mean, really, if I could, I'd, I'd go into Tice Peterson and Jacob Craig and, you know, Forrester and all the other guys, Dawson Santana and Jones. Like, there's an awesome group of infielders that are pushing each other offensively, defensively on the bases. And it's it's just fun to watch each of those levels. And, I mean, Elijah having played third base and and shortstop and also had some time at second base last year as well, you know, he's ut big utility in there. And he's got the arm strength to stay on the left side. Um, but it's been, it's been fun watching these guys compete when they come in and how quickly they are becoming – a real part of the clubhouse, not just uh, still an outsider and needing a lot of time. So our guys did a really good job uh, onboarding all the freshmen and, and, and uh, newbies this year, where as soon as we got back from Canada, it just felt like we were, we, we've all been together for a very long time.
That's awesome. Hey, last one for you, Mitch. You know, the, this tournament, and, and you're playing at Globe Life Field, it's a big league ballpark. Uh, it's going to be outstanding competition. What it, you know, it's an obvious question, but what does that, what does that bring to the table for you, uh, for this team that, that's got a chance to do some special things? Yeah, there's a lot of excitement uh, going into the season, number one, but also, uh, you know, the, the buzz going on with, hey, you guys are playing in the big league stadium. Just got done winning the World Series over there, right? And uh, the, the amount of people that are going to be traveling down there, we're excited to see them. We always travel really well to surprise, you know, 3,000 plus people are coming down there. And now this gives a, a little added buzz. And we're playing great competition there as well, which also people are ecstatic about, you know, playing Arkansas and Michigan and Oklahoma State. Everyone's uh, – the strength of schedule piece is huge. And uh, the storyline that goes along with playing some of those other teams – um, in our past has been exciting, you know, and I think that's a lot of what baseball is, right? It's community, it's memories. Um, and, and, and that's why, you know, you love the season and you love collegiate summer baseball as well. And watching families gather and do the firework shows and all that stuff. It, it's just such a, it's obviously a beautiful sport a life changing and learning sport. And then to go out and do it in this big, big time of a stadium is is electric. I'm, I remember in college, we played up at, um, at Safeco at the time, uh, you know, the Mariners ball club uh, against UW. And that was, you know, everybody in batting practice was trying to launch him into the stands. Case is getting <laughs> mad because none of us are hitting line drives. We're elevating because you just want to hit one out at a big league ballpark. And so I also remember a lot of those emotions that came through um, playing in a, a, a big environment like that. The more you do it, the calmer you get, the more at home you feel. And so this will be a great um, a great few weeks for us on the road. Awesome. Mitch, good luck this year, and we'll see you down the road. Appreciate it. Ruins, you're the man. Thanks for the time. You got it.